All right, good morning all. We're back to our next year's uh, lesson, and I guess this is lesson, I'm not sure if, if it is lesson six. Let's just go by it, it's just a name. So we are discussing connecting, we are going to discuss how to connect to MongoDB and we are going to be connecting to MongoDB at last. So, the, of course this is part of server-side actions. So the first thing you do is to, to create uh, an account with uh, MongoDB Atlas. And uh, to do that, we quickly go to the MongoDB Atlas. If you don't know the URL, you can browse from Google, MongoDB Atlas. This is it, mongodb.com. So this will open, then you create an account. This is what we have written. Create an account, then you create a project, then you create a cluster, then you move to network access, the white listing, then you move to database and the schema. This is should be yeah, the schema. I'm supposed to start from mongodb.com registration part of uh, the mongodb site I already registered one but I don't know if we should go through the registration process so we see how it's going to be done the sign up you have two ways it's either you sign up or you use uh, your, you sign up with Google. I think it's better I sign up. Let me sign up with a different. Um, I hope I do not use all my email addresses. I'm signing up so you for you to see how it's going to be. The company is comp uh, this. I'm going to use. Uh, Use a given password. I agree. Then I click on what? Create account. I'm going to save the password for subsequent <coughs> login in my WhatsApp something. I mean, a browser catch. Let me change to the uh, email address I've used. I think they're going to send uh, an acknowledgement. Yes, can you see it? They've sent me... Uh, oh, no, it's not the one. I thought they are the ones who have sent... Uh, this is part of what... Uh, um, Osman did. So I shared it into here. So we are waiting. While we are waiting for you to see how this is, I can quickly uh, open another Mongo account. Maybe we demonstrate with it instead of us to mongodb.com. Instead of us to continue waiting for this to, to get signed up, I think we can use uh, an already signed up account. What's happening? Sometimes, uh, okay. 
I'm going to give you those this in some case in some Right, so this case I'm going to use uh, another account. This is an, an existing account I'm having, so I'm going to log in. Right, for all case you create and then after creating you log in here. After signing up you log in. This is this uh, which is this very one we are waiting for. But here I'm logging in with a different account. I don't know whether we are getting it. So for any time you are logging, they will send you a, uh, an OTP into your email. So here is the OTP. I'm uh, trying to get the, the OTP sent to my email account. For this one, I'm signing up. It has finished signing up. Okay. So they said they have sent me something. Look at it here. This is what they have sent. For the one I'm signing up here, so I can now be refined. I thought it's going to take time. That's why I, I tried to use the the other one. Then I continue. I think let's continue with this if it has a uh, so you can see the process. Yes. Then we use. So I'm continuing with the one I've started. I'm sorry. I hope you are not being confused. Uh huh. So, you know sometimes uh, we cannot be waiting while something is getting signed up. So then I don't know, it's complaining with this uh, with this new account that I should do whatever. Sometimes it does this and later it will clear. So please, uh, let's continue with the one I've signed up. Isn't it? Okay, let me see what I think you've seen the process of signing up let me just try to log in with my existing account <coughs> Then I send them, I, I forward the, this is now the second OTP sent to me, and I'll open it, I'll head towards the, the MongoDB Atlas, let me close this one, so from here it will open to the account. has opened while you have signed up the next thing is for you to create a project right yes you create a project <coughs> so to create a project don't click on anything just come over here and create a project you see this is the project I have even though I think I have a okay it is the current one but uh, this is where you create projects that is the current project. You select the current project here, and these are projects I'm having. Let's create another project for our own work. Okay? Here I'll click on what? Add new project. So we have to wait for it to load. Uh, the project we are going to add has to be related to what we are handling. What are we handling? I Akaso, thank you. So we'll go by I Akaso. While the MongoDB Atlas is opening, let me as well load our VS code and then run our application. So for us to see where we have stopped. I don't know. It's more fast. It's more fast. Okay. 
So let me quickly run so we can maybe just wait for. This is Aya Castle. I will now see NPM wrong D. CD first. You CD then NPM wrong Dave for it to start running. So for here, you need to put in the name of your project. The name of our project is I Akasol. I Akasol. Right? I Akasol. I think it's okay, right? Then you click on next. If you have members in the project, you add the members here and set permissions. <coughs> Who is the project owner? Select the project owner as well. Then you create the project. This project is going to be created under the MongoDB Atlas Cloud Consulting limited ltd at gmail.com okay i think the Mongo, this has opened this has run so let's open the project while we are dealing with mongodb atlas like there are some changes made here You can invite members using their email addresses to join you in the group. Okay, this is where we have stopped. Go. Okay, but this, okay, I thought the last class we had, we have, okay, we haven't corrected our, our header. Okay, we're going to do that. Uh, okay, I was thinking about the other class. Uh, no problem, we are going to do it here as well. We are going to do it here. Let me see if I can get the proposal for the, for the project. So we can get some information from there. While the MongoDB is running, let me do something like this. So we should be looking at uh, what's happening. <coughs> Alright, uh, let me see if I can get it here. members we don't need these members right I would have just cancelled it members for now are not needed it's just a uh, demonstration
Aqui é um Sometimes uh, MongoDB does waste time. Yeah? On Chrome? Let me see if it is possible for me to get another instance here. Oh, so it's not even what I'm school management. I can say school management something. And I think it has finished. So let's see. Is iAcasol created? Yes, we have a project iAcasol, right? Created, is it? So, so then I select it. Actually, we need to work on this number. I thought we have done that. That's why. Uh, that's why I started. Uh, server side actions and here I'm trying to pull out the but then it's a school thing I think I will have to sit down and get the the proposal so we can be doing the right thing with the Something's cool automation, right? trying to get the uh -huh, it's cool no not this yes ERP. Oh, I was the one who made a mistake actually. I had uh, renamed the project and I was looking at uh, something different. Yes, I think this is it. School ERP. It's supposed to be in PDF. Let me just open it. Alright. So while it is downloading, let us quickly continue with the with this now after creating after creating the uh, okay, so the next thing is for us to create what to create a a what a cluster and to create a cluster Uh, you, 
just you, you you define your specifications and region uh, by clicking on this uh, so here it says we have m10 cluster which is 0 0.08 dollar per hour then we have uh, server lays 0 0.10 per hour which is 1 m reads then we have m0 which is free for learning and exploring mongodb in a cloud environment so this is ours so the storage is 512 and the ram size the ram is shared and the virtual cpu is also shared but for this 0 0.10 Per minute, I mean, per minute, this is auto scaling. It can scale. If you have traffic more than, or if you have some, you know, data storages request more than what you have for the, for just one server, it will scale to anything. It is up to one terabyte. This is up to 10, 10 gigabytes. So this, this is more expensive. You see, it's not all that uh, costly. This is 0 0.08 dollar per hour. So, but then you know the accumulation of these charges, okay? So let's select M0, and then I think yesterday we talked about the providers of the free tier. We have AWS as a provider, we have a Google, we have Google, Google Cloud as a provider, and Azure as a provider, okay? Then in the regions, you select which of the regions you want to make use. You want to, you want your uh, instance of uh, the free tier to be to be deployed. So here we have the Virginia, which is uh, the U.S. East, and there are a lot of them. Then we also have uh, Europe, we have uh, Australia, <coughs> Middle East, and the rest. Um, let me go by this. So name of the cluster. You can give it names. You will, need, you will not need cluster, zero cluster. But if you have something, if you have segregated your functions or uh, instances or tasks in your application, you, you give it different names. Uh, you can give it... Uh, but the, something is you cannot change the name of, 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 of a cluster once it is created. You can't change it. So you have to be very careful. I do go by the default cluster zero I will count it cluster zero cluster one from my own end I know what zero means so, but you can rewrite uh, the tag is optional you create your first tag to categorize and label your cluster more tags can be added so you see here these are uh, you can you can give it uh, something we can so see we wherever yes for this, actually, I don't have the time doing this. It's just a free. It's a, it's a something uh, for uh, for test. Then you create. So when you create, you wait for it to create to get your cluster created. Please, while it is creating, okay, it has created and it has finished. So it's okay. So how will you like to authenticate your connection? You have to be very careful. These options are actually very important. What do you want? Do you want to use username and password? I do go by username and password. It's easier. So then, if it is username and password, the username is CloudSoft Consulting Limited. And the password is this. If you want to change the password, you can change it. But then, this is the password given to you. Okay? So now, what you do, it's... Uh, to copy this text, username, it says create a database to use, uh, <coughs> uh, this is uh, the user, the first user, the first user is uh, uh, this, and then the password of the user is this thing, so I can now see, maybe, I can pick up something here, you can see, uh, uh, MongoDB MongoDB Mongo Atlas You 
Can you go DB at plus? The project name is I Akasol. <coughs> right? The first username is what? This. You can change it to wherever you want it. And then the password is this. Then you create user. If you don't want this, you can write your name. Yes, you can write your name there. Then you create. So we have created what? We have created a user. This I will save it as uh, MongoDB in my cloud, OneDrive. Mongo Atlas I Akasol Project <coughs> Details Okay Then It's now asking where we like you to, you to connect Enable access from any Any connection That needs to read and write and uh, all this, the easiest is to, you can add a lot of things. The first thing is, uh, this, my IP address have been added. If it's not there, you can click on this, add my IP. It tells you that this IP address has been what? Added. Okay. So then, uh, Yes. So that advanced, that advanced uh, environment. Um, so is it even from this is the place where like, you want to give someone access to, to access the project button? You already added IP address. You can revisit this always. You can revisit and, and add. Here you can now. If you want to go by zero by zero to zero to zero to zero slash zero, that is everyone can do what this this is everyone can can connect. If I click on this, it will add on top. Can you see here? <coughs> so you can be adding IP addresses or any kind of yes net, network address yeah, you want it. It doesn't mean that it's rigid. You can add as many as you can. Then you finish and close. Then it tells you congratulations on setting all power. Then you can now go to overview. So that means we have created project, we have created cluster, we have done network access, right? The next is for us to, do, to create database, okay? The next is for us to create database and uh, you can do that by you can click on this you know this is security this is the network access we have done you can click on this to do what to add database already we have only one user which is our company name okay is it yeah. Okay, I said a database, not database access. It should be database. Okay, here is it, please. Database. So this is now, you know, we have not created database, right? We haven't created database. You can create your database from there and then push it here. But the main thing here is how do we connect? Okay, come over here and click on what? connect so how are you connecting do you want to connect two drivers 
through Compass, through Shell, through MongoDB for VS Code, through Atlas. We want to use Driver. Okay? Then we move to what? The version of our NestJS. We have a lot of things here. You can connect Java, you can connect PHP, you can connect Python, you can connect whatever. And we are using what? Not JS. And the version is 5.5 or later. The node, you know, the name, the node we are using is around 19, sorry, 9.5, 9 right? 9.5, 9. Point something. So, then it asks you, the first thing you do is install your driver. Run the following on the command line. You need to run this first on the command line. Then add your connection string into your application code. The URL. The URL. So I think this is what we have said here. After doing all this, you click on the connection button. You create and then, okay, I'll come to, to this. Before right, you know, do installing <coughs> Mongos. You need to, you need to connect. You need to do this. Okay. So the first thing we do is this is the installation the installation process. Okay, instructions. Installation instructions. If you want to view it, you can view it from there. And then this is the connection URL. Okay. You can go through the, the text from here. So what you do is first of all we need to install Mongos. So go to our application here, come to the uh, the VS code and then open the Hyacosol <coughs> project. The Hyacosol project is here and this is our app folder. Okay. Right. This is our this is our <coughs> folder. This is the project folder. Okay, I So you are right click on the project folder and and create a, a, a file called dot env. So it has opened, it has created here. Then you now type in which is the variable name. We call it Mongo URL. Okay. So you copy this URL into here for security purposes. Sorry, like I pasted it twice. So that's all. There's no need putting it. Uh, I'm going. I will revisit it later. Then uh, you install MongoDB. I can create another. Or uh, instead of doing this, let me just invoke another. Let me check on the directory here and I'll cd it. Then I do the installation of the MongoDB here. npm run, npm install MongoDB. <coughs> then when it's done, we install what? Mongoose. That is the, the package that enables to interact with MongoDB, Mongoose. Then you now see it is done. You now see npm install or i is something. Mongoose. Mon one eight one o double o here. Mongoose. And press enter. Then it will install what? Mongoose. 
Let us check from our package.json to confirm that Mongo is being installed. These are our dependencies, bootstrap. This is MongoDB 5.0. So Mongo is not yet installed. Once it is installed, you will see it here. It is being installed. Let's give it some time. You know it's an online installation. I mean, yeah, internet installation. Yeah. So Mongoose has been installed, version 7. So you now do what? Remove this instance. We are done with it. Then come back to our uh, Mongo. Okay, we have copied. So it's okay here. Now come to the .emb <coughs> file here. I'm going to uh, so what you do is the user that that connects that create this connection is the first user we created you can create many users and give them privileges so the first thing you do you leave as this is but this password okay the username has been entered here username we use this as our username right but the password is not. So you pick from here. This is the password. It's an auto-generated password. You can write your own and then adhere to the to their instruction or password. You remove the, the everything right from art to full column or from full column to art symbol of the cluster zero. You know, we told you you cannot change this cluster once created, right? You remember we have used cluster zero there. We created cluster zero. But here, immediately after the slash, you enter your database name. So our database name is I Akaso. Not created, but then uh, MongoDB from our server side uh, instructions from VS Code will create. You can as well create it, it's not a problem. But it is a sign that uh, we have correctly, you know, uh, created connection to create it from here so to push it there for you with the schemas and everything Ayakaso DB so this is our what this is our database right it is our database so if you want you can just copy copy this then you move there and create it in the in the MongoDB Atlas then you come here. Uh, what is it? Okay, this is database deployment, right? So you need to create one DB. Or you click on this browse collections. If you click on the browse collections, it tells you that you have close to zero. An unexpected error occurred. Please uh, back to clusters. What's the error? Okay, I think DB not created, right? So you can create one here. No, 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 no. I'm not creating new cluster. I'm not creating new cluster. I'm trying to create a database from here. Let me see you down here. Okay. Mostly I do create from there, but you can, of course, you can create it from here. Let me refresh first. You say? Yeah, so you don't sample that there is a cluster view. Where? 
Atlas provides sample data you know to your you can use this data to no these are sample things they are not uh, they, you love them and then maybe you, you you connect with them and fetch out things so that you understand that um, it has been uh, created <coughs> let me see this button No, actually we are creating database. You're supposed to browse. When you browse, you see your schema, you see your database, you see everything. We have already created cluster. So when you browse connections, we don't have any collection for now. Uh -huh. So this is it. We don't have any collection. Oh, I think I'm not into the... Okay. It is the sample database they added. But for our own case, you can create this database here. You can create an entire database name here. Your own, your own database you want to. Okay? You can paste database here like I Akerson. But I want it, I want to push it from our URL, from our views code. So it will create and create sample things here. Uh, and create a, a what do you call schemas and all that. But if you like you can leave it and then just give it a database name the maybe first name of the collection you can't create database without giving it one collection one collection collection name that is one uh, document uh, document or like a table name or something so you can just say let's say uh, student reg Maybe this is our first model, table name, studio registration, then we create. So then, uh, this is our uh, something here, uh, our database here, and this is our first table or collection. And these are the sample ones we ask it to push into our, into our, system and uh, it has one collection the collection name here is listing and review okay and this is also another one it has one collection shipwrecks this is another one sample supplies and it has some collections just cells so let me go into cells sample supply let me click on cells and see what what is there this is a collection okay is a table here like a table so you see it has only one record okay it has many records but we have only one here this is how it does its own it will create id the first time you put in something and then it will start it on so let me let's go back to the uh, vs code and try to connect so if you from here you come to the, the the folder of your application and create a folder and give it name db then you go into db and give it name connect to mongo this is the name dot js okay so now here you now see export, de export default Export default function. Yes, of course, async. Export default. Async function. Function name. Connect. Connect to Mongo. Okay. Then try catch, and then within the try catch, you do await, and you when await, you now see what uh, mongoose 
Okay, before then, I have not installed. Did I install Mungus? Yes, it's installed. So now say Mungus. Mungus. Can you see it has imported Mungus above here? Right? Mungus. But what? Connect. Then you open and close this uh, bracket. In here, you write three different parameters. The first parameter is your URL, the URL, this URL. So how do I call this URL? Process. I have to say process. Process. Dot what? E N V dot. Sorry, E N V, not E N V dot. Um, uh, let's see what is there. It's supposed to have pulled out this for us. I think I did not save it. So let me save it. Dot, uh, okay, maybe because I use capital letters or something. So instead of that, let me just copy it. Mongo URL. So this is what? One parameter. Then the remaining two parameters are to be written within curly braces. Then you say use. Use what? New URL parser. New URL Passer. Right? And true. Comma. Uh, use unified. Unified topology. Using fight topology, also true. Then that's all about the connection. Then you can console log. You can console log to see. Maybe to showcase that um, connection is successful. Connection is successful. You can see MongoDB connection is successful. Then in here you draw you draw the instance of the exception <coughs> and then Within it, you write error connecting to MongoDB, and then you can concatenate with the variable error. So, this is now connection. But to test this is something you need to create schema i mean yeah not schema model integrate model and then you begin testing from your your page you can test it after creating model from here for you to know what is actually happening so i think uh, maybe we'll stop here but before we stop, I'll ask, I'll urge you to, everybody should go and make entries into our created database, IACSO here. Into the IACSO, come into IACSO and come to Student Dredge. Oh, how I've created this, anyway, no problem. It should have been small, little, or true. Uh, please, let me do this. When I, when I erase this, when I erase this, it is the only 
it is the only collection for this database then it will go off with the data the database will go off as well you know see the database it is mandatory upon anybody using mongodb to while creating a database you have to create what at least one collection so i want to cor make some corrections i aka saw db just like this you know lower cases then here what student student what student reg it's okay student reg if you like you complete it then you have to be consistent then i created this this What did you say? Huh? Let me refresh it. <coughs> Let me see if the DB the DB is not in existence. Right? So let me repeat. Uh, Kaso Student what? Student branch Maybe it was in the cache then When I refresh it works You see here I want a small letter And if I click on this it tells me that no what? Nothing is there There is nothing So how do I use that document in here? When you click on this, please look up here. I want to put in document into this table or this collection. I click on this in that document. Then here, this is ID. You come down here and click on what? Add field. Add field. Okay. So here, you add field here. Let's see. Name. Name. Let me put my name. Should apply. Let's see. Bridge number. No matric number. You know which number. Which number. Let's see. You know we are going to unify the registration number registration system will be assigning it automatically. But then let me just go by see uh, CCL. Even though we are not developing for CCL, this application is mostly going to be for secondary school users, you know, or business owners. See CCL. 2023 and then zero zero one for example it will be automated it will be picking this from the id then let me add another field let's say uh class let's see ss This is this is three. This is senior secondary school three, for example. Huh? Huh? These these are numbers. Are these three for what? Are you going to use the codes? They are they are strings now. I just want to make sample of something. Okay. SS3. I think I'll stop here. Let us just see distance. 
You know, we collect names, we collect everything, we collect pictures, we collect lots of things. I just want to create sample. Then I click on what? Insert. It says inserting document. You see, this has no any structure. Oh, there is a problem. Reason error initializing connection to <coughs> Atlas MongoDB.net. Process is not returning. Why? Let me just insert one thing, just one. Name. I don't like inserting inside inside this MongoDB Atlas. It's very hard. I I, I prefer inserting it from our UI from there. But you know we have not created something like that. So I want us to get something we can query next time when we come before we insert. Okay, this has entered. So what happened? Maybe we made a mistake. Okay. It has entered. So please, uh, I will urge you to enter at least 10. 10 or something. At least 10. So I want to update this. I click on this. I click. This will now be what? <coughs> Name. What did I see? Range number. CCL 2023 then I do what I do add again when I'm done now update then what class right class what SS 3 then I'll do what update because this is not the first time I'm entering I have to do update yeah so you see we have one single record so if you want to add another record you click on add document here it will give you document id itself automatically then you <coughs> click on name let's see ibrahim bashir Click on this matrix number, regional, reg, reg, reg number is what? CCL 2023 002. Who else? Uh, class. SS 3. Then you insert. This has inserted as well. So please, you insert at least ten after creating your something. So when you come next, we we'll first of all query it just for after connecting. We query these things. The later we create from that will enable us to be inserting into it. This is what I want us to do. Thank you for watching.